Hey everybody, it's the Games here, and today I'm joined by Jason and Erica. Say hello. Hi. This is our, like, third or fourth time trying to get this to work. But, uh, anyway, look. Hi. Oh, yeah, Jason was a little bit late. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, uh, I have super slow reactions today. Uh huh. Not good. Uh, I don't know mm. what happened. I just can't react to things fast. I'm sorry. That's alright. But anyway, we got, uh, we got Undyne in the main menu now. Look. She's, uh, standing on Papyrus's head. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so here we are, back yes, in Waterfall. Yes, Undyne is standing on my head. Mm hmm Because we're besties with Undyne now. Uh, Undyne and I, we're besties. Let's, uh, let's actually call... Let's call him up. He used to call me on my cell phone. Ring, ring. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that river connects to Snowden and Hotland. If you need to get from one place to another, jump in. Look, that's all we got for the public transport, okay? Got it. Yo, what up? Troll along, it, care for go a like ride? Super fast. It is pretty fast. Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? We're going to Hotland. Then we're off. Here we go. go like super fast. Oh whoa! It's a, it's a, it's a, that, that, it's an I animal said. now. That's what I said. Is it a dog or a cat? You, you can tell when it's about to go super fast because the face yeah. is in when mm -hmm. it's gonna go really fast. Yeah. Tralala, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. We already went there. It is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Here we are. Oh, we slowing I down. That. Here we are. Come again sometime, Tralala. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> all right, so we already talked to all these guys last time. Actually, let's save here again. Yeah. We're gonna want to save. Probably good idea. Seeing such <laughs> a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. The Hotland Laboratory entrance. Wait, what? What strange laboratory? Oh, I'm so surprised. Whoa! Automatic doors. Look, look, watch. <laughs> Star Trek. It's like the mall. <laughs> or, yeah, or a mall. <laughs> um, Alright, here we go. Oh, it's kind of a dark room. Oh, it's room. dark. <gasps> I mean, that, I mean... Me? It's you? Oh, it's dark. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Uh, I'm super delayed, yo. Mm -hmm. It's too dark to see near the walls. What's this? It's too dark to see near... Okay, I can't really see around. Is this a fridge? It's too dark to see. Anything. I can see the cat, cat food. All right, let's just walk through. Oh, what's back there? <gasps> oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's too all, it's all messy and... Hmm. What? Um. Hiya. I I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Alzgard's royal scientist. B -b 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 but, Science. Uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. A actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I I've um been observing your journey through my console. Oh, <gasps> I'm being I'm being observed. It's because I'm so great. What? Yes! It's like me! But in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> so that must have been what the camera outside of the ruins was. Like, so Alphys means like right and at the in ruins. The waterfall. Yeah. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but. Wait, wait. If she's been watching our fights and our friendships. Does that mean that she has a camera in Undyne's house? <gasps> she spies on Undyne too. And Papyrus' house. She All right. spies on Papyrus too. Anyway. Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. Yeah, I'm rooting for myself. So, uh, now I want to help you. Yay. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the Hotland. Hotland. I I know a way right through Asgore's castle, no problem. 
Nice. Asgore's the best at names. Hotland. <laughs> Snowden. <fitting> Waterfall. <laughs> well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. Oh, what would that be? I'm sure it's a not long time much. ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Ooh. Uh, originally, I built him to be an uh, entertainment robot. Entertainment. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Okay. Anyway, I recently decided. Uh, recently, I decided to make him more useful. Okay, how? Y you know, just some small practical adjustments. Mhm. Mm like um. Anti, anti-human combat features. Um. What? Uh, of course. When I saw you coming, I, I immediately decided I have to remo remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. What? What did you do? And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Hopefully we won't run into him. Oh yeah, I hope not. What was that? Um... Is that base? Just no big deal, though. <laughs> what? Did you hear something? I I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> oh, oh boy, this is kind of loud. Oh no. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, beauties. <gasps> It's Metaton to today's quiz show. Yay! D -d -d oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Clap, 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 clap. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Da -da -da. Or die. Or you die! Oh, I'm so close! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Metaton attacks. Um, uh, Let's check. Cry. Metaton, attack 30, defense 255. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? A brand new car! Money, mercy, new car, more questions. More uh, questions! Oh, Alphys is making a D with her hand. Sounds... Sounds... Sounds right. Yeah, I didn't read the whole thing. The quiz show continues. Uh, it's very... Here's your terrific prize! Oh, uh, more questions. What's the king's full name? Uh, Lord Fluffy Buns, Fuzzy Pushover, Asgore Dreamer, or Dr. Friendship. Uh, Alphys is making a C. Correct, what a terrific answer! The quiz show continues. Enough about you, let's talk about me! You weren't talking about me before. What are robots made of? Uh, hopes and dreams, metals and magic, snips and snails, sugar and spice. Uh, I'm gonna go Everything with metal and magic. And everything nice. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and, and, and train B, simultaneously depart from tra station A. I can't even read this in 20 seconds. Alphys is making a D with her hands, I'm going with that. Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks. The quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Um, 54? Correct, you're so lucky today. Alphys is like, giving me the... Oh. Alphys, Alphys is like, is a genius. giving me, the, giving me the, the hand, the hands. Okay, the quiz show continues. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Um, D. It's Metaton. It's not Metaton. That's that's Froggit. Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? What? It was Metaton? <laughs> Alphys was right. Wow. The quiz <coughs> show continues. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah! Great answer. I love it. The quiz show continues. Um, here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? Of course that was easy for you. 
Quiz show continues. Um, time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, you hear Kissy oh, Cutie. What is Mimi's oh, favorite I know this food? one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's the snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it actually is very powerful. This is about friendship and... Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Ooh! Alphys is like, no. I don't know what. Uh, um, um, uh, Undyne. So, <laughs> see, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. <laughs> Alphys' face is so red. <laughs> Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed, bloodshed. <laughs> Until next time, darlings. Oh, there he goes. Did he break a hole in the roof? I think so. Well, that was certainly something. Mm-hmm. Alright, I guess we can look around now. Wait, wait! Mm-hmm. Let me give you my phone number. Oh, cool. We're gonna be texty buddies. Then maybe if you need help, I could... Oh, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. Phones can be ancient? Like, I know they can be old, but ancient? Like flip phones? Probably. <laughs> oh, flip phones. Yeah, those... Those flip phones are like way back in the days of like the Mesopotamians. That is like so, so old. They had flip phones. They had flip phones. They'd be like walking around, farming their, their plants, building their houses, just talking on their, their flip phones. So you have to like, you have to like, you have to like, you have to like, like. <laughs> like it wasn't just one thing. It. You have to flip the flip phone. Yeah. It doesn't even have texting. What? Flip phones had, had texting, right? You could text with flip phones. Yeah, so, so it must have been older than a flip phone. I mean, it was a really weird keyboard. Like, I think I had one. It didn't work, but... It was like my mom's old phone Oh, wait a second, please. Will do. What were those noises? Here, I upgraded it for you. Is that where phones come from? I heard a cat. It can do texting items, and it's got a keychain. Keychain? I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Verizon? <laughs> now we're officially friends. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. That face dough. <laughs> so many dogs. I I'm going to the bathroom. Alright, bye. Bye. <laughs> Have fun. Alright, so what is this? A garbage can. But it's pretty cute. <laughs> Feel free to visit at any time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Ah, nah. You decide to stay healthy. <laughs> it's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Of course. Couldn't be half empty. Or it's half empty. Wait, does Alpha eat dog food? I don't know. Can knock on the door, I think. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Okay. What's this? Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Uh, read one? Sure. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot finding a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. I wonder why. Let's see. I think I remember that happening. You know, back in the days of the American Civil War, like they used they like the the Union had like giant robots, and the Confederates had like these 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 huge beautiful alien princesses. 
basically, totally basically, from my understanding of it, <laughs> VHSs and what DVDs of various cartoons. On the Civil War unit in school. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> They're all labeled what human history. <laughs> More human history. <laughs> oh, can I can I look at them? Nope. Nope. Okay. All these books are labeled human history. Read one? Oh, sure. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two santically clad chefs are fingering energy pancakes at each other. This what? doesn't strike you as very accurate. So, wait, the DVDs and VHSs of old cartoons are labeled human history? All these books are labeled human history. Read one? Uh, sure. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Okay, what's this? Pink goop drinks from this strange machine. Okay. What's this? Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. What's the poster behind it? Is that that thing that Alphys was talking about? Like... Oh, kissy cutie Mew Mew? Mew Mew kissy cutie? That's actually based off of a real, a real anime called like Tokyo Mew Mew or something. Like it's a real thing. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Oh. Okay. What's this? An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> Ooh! Poster! It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. Yes. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Oh, yes. Darlings. <laughs> right. So, wait, we can actually call Alphys now, right? Dimension, Dimensional box A, dimensional box B. We get dimensional boxes now? Nice. More storage for us. Um, let's call it the Pirates of Undyne. Ring, ring. You're at Alphys' lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything, and... Wait, no! Don't ask any of that. Okay... Um... I ship it! I ship it. Um... So, I can't actually get in there. We're just gonna head out now. Alpha's updated status. Just realized. Oh, wait, no, no, Erica, you should do this. Just realized it didn't watch Undyne fight the human. All right, let's. Oh, oh. Alpha's updated well, status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Okay. Alpha's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Cat. All right. I'd like to be guided. Uh, what happens? If I can't go on this one. Oh, what? Vulcan strolls in! It's so cute! It's so cute! We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna hug it. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch! Your defense dropped. Ah, so lovely. Oh, oh boy. What is this? Uh, Vulcan's cheeks glow with a bright heat. You can spare now. Zero XP and 40 gold. Alright, let's head this way. Ooh, super quick. And now I can go the other way, right? And I can, like, stop, but I can't, like... Okay, so that's how these work. Uh, let's head up here. Alpha's updated status. Gonna call him in a minute. Cat face. Cat face. Kitty cat. Oh, so, oh don't want to fall You're off. You're gonna run into an enemy. Oh, you didn't. Why didn't you run into an enemy? I don't know. Oh, there's a save point here. And an enemy. The whooshing sound of steam and hugs. It fills you with determination. Save. Hotland Magma Chamber. So guys, I'm gonna end this one here. Uh, <laughs> if, you en clap. if you enjoyed, leave a like, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. 
Um, is there anything you guys want to say before we end it here? Strawberries. Erica's going through a strawberry phase. Strawberries! <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, I would like to say something. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I, I responded really quickly to that. Yep. You did what? Can you speak up a bit? I, I, I responded very quickly to that. Oh, yes. You responded the quickest. Like, like, I didn't have a delay in that whatsoever. There was no delay. There was the no delay. No delay throughout any of it. But anyway, guys... Uh, actually, why don't we why don't we call the Pirates and Undyne before we head out? Ring, ring. Steam vents? I think Elf has told me about those. The core cools off by releasing steam through those. Oh. And at the same time, it doubles as transport. Pretty cool if you are wearing a dress. <laughs> All right, Alpha's updated status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to use this L L LMO. L-L-M-A-O. So guys, we're... <laughs> oh, oh wait, wait. We gotta fight something. Sundare plane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Um, I like the hat. It's approach. Yeah, it is a nice hat. You get close to Sundare plane, but not too close. Eh? H human? Wait, green. Green means clean. Green means clean. Green means clean. Eat your greens. Sundare plane accidentally bumps into you with its wing. <laughs> Don't get in my way. Oh, oh, it's oh my gosh, it's dropping balls. <laughs> um, Sundari Plane accidentally bumps into you with its wing. It's approach. You get close to Sundari Plane, but not too close. Eh, human? <laughs> Sundari Plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Alright then, you won, you're in 0 XP and 60 gold. All right, guys, once again, we're going to actually end this one here now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye.